In this video, I'm going to explain the steps for creating and sharing research folders in CCH IntelliConnect. IntelliConnect allows you to save and organize documents and practice tools that you find during your research by bookmarking them into a research folder. This allows for easy access to your research at any point in the future. You can also share a research folder you have created with others. Let's say you've just researched the topic casualty loss, and you open a document on the screen and you want to save it to access it at a later time. Simply go to the top, click on Save Email, and then click on Save Document to Research Folders. You'll be given an option to create a new folder or save to an existing folder. We'll create a new folder called Casualty Loss. And click OK. Notice when you've saved a document to a research folder, there'll be an icon at the top of that document. To access your research folders at any point in the future, simply go to the top and click on Research Folders in the quick bar. Under My Folders, you'll see the folder you just created. Simply click on the folder name to display the contents of that folder on the right-hand side. You can add a note to the folder using the box to the right of the folder name. Simply click on the box and click on Notes. I'll add a note to the folder called Loss Incurred for ABC Incorporated. And click OK. Now you'll see an icon just to the right of the folder. When I roll my mouse over it, the note appears. Sharing a research folder allows you to collaborate with other professionals in your office on all your research conducted with the ability to review and share expertise with your peers and colleagues by subject or by client. To share a research folder, simply click on the Dropbox next to the folder, and then click on Share with Colleagues. You can share your research with all colleagues or with selected colleagues. I'm going to share this with all my colleagues. You can assign them read-only or contributor rights. You can also email each person to indicate that you've shared a folder with them. That folder is now moved to the category My Shared Folders. Thank you for watching this video. For additional training resources, please click the link below to visit our training and consulting webpage.